you imagine a horse carriage with an internal combustion engine, a next generation computer with a Commodore 64 layout, the breaking in of new technologies produces a gap with the past. Over 50 years of history, Anna Plant in Bursa, Turkey, capable of producing, mind you, over 18,000 vehicles a year. Carson has decided to embrace with conviction the challenge of electrification of public transport. In 2018, the launch of the electric jets, the following year, the electric attack. A 6 and 8 meter battery electric bus with a sedan heart. The batteries are made in BMW. In September 2021, the announcement. Soon on the market at 10, 12 and 18 meters, the IATA range, which is based on a platform built from scratch for the electric powertrain. A project based on assumption, more than 80% of European city bus market consists in 12 and 18 meters buses. Just three months after its launch, the king of urban public transport, the 12 meter, is here, behind us, ready to have its say in a growing market. The bus is powered with in-wheel motors, a choice that allows the passengers of the IATA 12 to find a seat on completely low floor. A great plus for a bus that, as we have already mentioned, has been developed specifically for electric traction, that takes advantage of all of its potential benefits. These benefits go well beyond low environmental impact and silent operations, but also include an interior layout that is truly suitable for children, the age and wheelchairs. The two engines deliver 125 kilowatt each for a total of 250 kilowatt. The batteries have a maximum capacity of 449 kilowatt hour, which for a 12 meter represents a value that approaches the best in class. A value capable of guaranteeing a distance that can touch 450 kilometers on a single charge. Not bad if we think that the average daily mileage of a city bus usually turns around 200 kilometers. What is very important, on the full IATA range, Carson offers seven battery packs variants, from 150 kW to 600 kW. Keyword, versatility. The formula chosen by the Turkish manufacturer is the LFP chemicals, by far the most widespread at global level. As standard, the bus is equipped with a plug-in charge socket according to the CCS2 standard. The pantograph is available on request. In any case, with the latest generation of cables, slow charging takes just over three hours. In short, calling it slow is more a convention than a choice. We have raised its comfort, but now let's get inside the IATA 12. The floor is completely lowered, the environment is welcoming to the entire length of the bus. The manual ramp is present to facilitate access on board for wheelchairs. Remarkable, the internal brightness guaranteed by the low belt of the windows and the rear free from batteries, all of which are mounted on the roof. Valuable exteriors with the body design that underlines the modern approach. The interior and exterior lighting is full LED. Whether you are an insider or an enthusiast, you will have noticed at first glance that something is missing on the front of this bus. No, it's not an assembly error or the result of a careless manual. There are no rear view mirrors replaced by technological mirror cams capable of widening and improving the driver's visibility, especially in the dark and in adverse weather conditions. An optional equipment that anticipates by a few years what will be the future of public transport. And not only, optional extras include cameras and parking sensors. Looking at the rear, the conspicuous glass portion stands out. A look at its structure, which is tubular, based on carbon steel, all processed with cataphoresis. An axle with independent suspension works on the front, a portal drive axle on the rear. ABS, AESR and EBS are even present, as well as the regenerative braking system, which is real mast on electric vehicles. It is indeed able to recover part of the braking energy and reintroduce it into the batteries. Yes, driving behavior is important to improve the range performances of an e-bus since a careful use of the regenerative braking, operator says, allows us saving up 20% in fuel consumption. Let's move to the driver's seat. The driver sits in an eight-way pneumatic driver's seat with three-point seatbelt. The full digital cockpit is standard and shows real-time energy demand and energy consumption or regeneration situation. Fundamental elements for keeping the mileage capacity under control 
which, thanks to the possibility of varying the size of the battery in a personal manner, can be truly calibrated according to the needs of the customer. An important advantage goes in the direction of providing truly the best fit for the operating conditions the bus will be operating in.